everybody and welcome to Handmade Studio. I'm Cheryl Han Woodlock. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own tiles for mosaics. That's right, we are going to make our own tiles for our mosaic projects. I'll see you soon. and welcome to making your own tiles which is so exciting for our mosaic projects the tools that you will need today for this workshop a rolling pin to roll out your clay a cloth so it doesn't stick to the table a piece of cement sheeting fiberboard that is great for rolling out your clay and also for drying your clay a template I've got a six inch template, which is 16 centimeters, perfect for the project at hand and easy to handle, not too big and not too small. I've also got commercial tiles that I have cut into strips. They are six millimeters thick and that is going to be the thickness for our tile. I also need a knife to cut out my tile. Anything that will make textures on your tiles so you can have Stabs, they look really cool. Doilies, this is a plastic doily and that makes really cool textures. I've even used a spoon. The back of the spoon also works. And last but by no means least, the clay. Today I'm using TWE clay from Clayworks here in Dandenong, Victoria. It is a white earthenware clay that is perfect for making tiles. We will see you soon. The first thing we're going to do today is to roll out a clay and I'm going to show you how to roll out a slab properly and this is really important. I'm going to cut up my clay and use a wedging wire. I don't need a lot of clay, I'm just going to do one tile at a time. I'm going to cut this in half first. And that is going to be miles too big for what we do. So I'm going to cut it in half again. There is some green on that. Don't worry about it. It's just mold. It will burn out later. And this piece of clay is roughly around about 700 grams, 800 grams. And that is perfect for making our tile. This is the template and this is the clay. We need to get it to half that thickness. So it should stretch beautifully. I'm going to put my cloth onto a big board. Place the clay on top. When rolling out the clay, I'm going to roll it halfway and push out. So the rolling pin is going to start in the middle and push out. Turn the cloth around. And now I'm going to roll from the middle out again. The next thing I'm going to do is flip the clay. If I keep rolling out, it won't stretch and also will be uneven on the bottom. So hold on to your piece of clay, flip it over, and then gently put it down. Make sure there are no creases on the cloth. I'm going to do a quarter turn. And now I'm going to roll out again. I've got my template here. And I'm going to make sure it's almost wide enough. I'm just going to roll it so it's got more length that way. Halfway again and push out. From the middle, out. A half turn. Flip the clay again, hand on top, and try not to peel it or bend it. Gently turn it up and flip. 
and keep rolling. Now, have your template ready to just check. I need a little bit more length that way. Still not wide enough that way, half turn. Check it with your template. It's wide enough that way, now I need to get it wider that way. Remember, turn your cloth. Not quite, but we're almost there. I'm just missing the corners. Check with the template. Almost there. Now I'm going to see I've got the right thickness. These are my commercial tiles and I'm going to place them on the side to make sure that this is the right thickness. So put them there. Yes, that's working. And I'm going to just move my whole board. And that top was just a little bit thick then. And that is now the right thickness. There we go. The next thing I'm going to do is now cut it out. Place your template on top, use your knife and slice. This I'm going to use later. So I'll just pop it to the side. Turn your cloth and keep, I'm right-handed, so I'm always going to cut on my right-handed side. Now I have my square. Pop it onto your cement sheet and flip it over. This is like flipping a cake. You ready? And flip. Peel it off and I now have my tile ready to decorate. It is the right thickness. Oh, now on this side it's a little bit thicker. I can keep and just re-trim. Now I can think about decorating this tile. On this one, I've actually used the doily pattern, which is this. Place it on and roll. The other thing I can do now is I can just gently use my hand, go over it, make sure it's all even. Just check a little bit on the side, make sure that pattern is deep enough. Just doing a little bit more of a rub here. Now I can peel it off. And that is my pattern. Because I've been rolling and rubbing, it probably is a little bit out of shape. So I'm going to just check the size again. Get my template out, put it on top, and it is slightly out so I'm just going to re-trim again with my knife. And that is done. Drying your clay is really important and how you dry it will stop it from warping. 
To stop it from warping, I'm actually going to get another piece of cement sheeting and place it on top. If I make a series of pieces of tiles, I can actually stack three high. That is three high. I can stack them on top and that weight will weigh down the clay and it will keep it flat. If you don't do this, your pieces will not stay flat. The other thing I can do is I've got some commercial tiles here and I'm just going to put those on top and that will stop it from warping over the next week. So I'm going to leave these for a week, this tile for a week. And when I come back to it, it will be almost dry, ready for firing and it will be flat. And that's how you make your own tiles. I can do some really interesting decorations at the bottom of this pen is a little hole and I'm just going to start pressing down on it. Because I've been pressing down on it with my pen, I have slightly distorted that shape. So I'm going to check it with my template. And if I need to, I can retrim it. And you can see it has slightly distorted, so I am going to trim that. Now it's back into its original square shape. Remember to re-trim just in case the clay has stretched because we've been stamping onto it. With our scraps of clay, there's no reason to waste it. We can actually make some little tiles. So I'm going to just gently roll these out. making them a little bit thinner. The six mil is usually just a little bit too thick for little tiles. And I can now use my stamp and stamp them again. I'm now going to use these little cookie cutters. They are perfect for cutting clay with. With very, very fine blades. However, if I start cutting with these, what I'm going to find is they're going to stick. The way to stop them sticking is to use glad wrap or cling wrap. Lay your cling wrap over the top and then we will press our cutters in. Now 
You can use this to press down, that way your hand doesn't get too sore if you're doing a lot of cutting. This means I have used a lot of my scrap clay, nothing is wasted. I can now peel the cloud wrap off. And sometimes the clay sticks to it, that's fine. I can take that off and peel it back. And this can be put into a scrap pile and I can re-wedge it and use it for later. are now made they're finished all I have to do is let them dry but I have to dry them out slowly I have to make sure they stay flat I can now stack these on top of each other the weight from the tiles is going to help keep them flat and they won't crack if I leave them in here for three to four days they are going to dry out really slowly and they will not warp. I'm also going to put a little bit of extra weight on this top one so it stays flat and that is just a commercial tarp that I've already got and that will just stay there. So that will stay as its pack and they will stay flat. It's so exciting to make your own tiles. It's up to you the textures you put on or whether you don't put textures on. If you have liked what you've done today, being able to make your own tiles, please hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. I'm Cheryl Hanwoodlock from Handmade Studio. Thank you for watching. Bye.